G'day guys, how you doing? It's Fitzy from Fishing with Fitzy. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to tie my version of a CDC sedge or CDC caddis, as it is often called as well. Um, it's basically a, like an LK caddis, um, minus the LK, we're just using CDC instead. Um, and this has proven to be quite a good fly in peak summer um, in Australia and Victoria in particular. Um, it's quite easy to tie. Um, so let's get into it. So we're using a size 14 curved dry hook. Um, you can pretty much use whatever size hook you like uh, within reason. Um, so, you know, probably 12 to 16 um, is pretty good range. So we're just going to get that into the vise there. Righto. And we're using a brown uh, uni thread um, in a dot. So we're just going to start by tying in our thread about a hook eyes gap behind and then once that's tied in we can grab the scissors and snip that bit off there cool so we're just tying this in go down and then go all the way back up to the start of where you tied in the thread so now we've got our thread back up the top of the hook um, we're just going to add a small section of craft foam here. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can use fly foam. I believe it's pretty much the same thing. It's just overpriced. Um, so we're just going to tie that in at the top there, making sure your first wrap's pretty tight, and then you can kind of loosen up your wraps as you go back. And you want to make sure, to make sure this sits on top of the hook, um, we're just going to grab a tiny bit of super glue and we are going to dab that on just a very small amount. So clean the brush right off and then just put a tiny bit of super glue on the thread there. And then once that's done, we can fold back our bit of foam and then wrap backwards loosely to start with. Um, and then once you get to the back of the hook, just behind the barb, you want to do a few tight wraps to lock that down and then you should just be able to pinch the foam and it should just come straight off. Now, <clears throat> that super glue should seat it top uh, on the top of the uh, hook. <clears throat> and then just do a few more wraps until you back up at the top. And then a few spins back down now we're going to use a dubbing blend that I've got here. Um, so this is just a bit of hair's mask. Um, so we just grab a tiny bit and then put some dubbing wax on our thread there and then add in our hair's mask. Now you want to kind of keep this relatively wispy. Uh, you don't want to it's not really playing ball now, is it? <laughs> you don't really want to dub it on there too, too tight um, because you want that sort of jagged hairs, uh, hairs mask look that we're going for with this fly because it's a, you know, it's a pretty messy looking fly in the end, but it catches fish and it's been proved time after time. So we're just gonna go back up to the eye of the hook or just before the eye, sorry. Um, just have to add in a little bit more dubbing there. Cool. There we go. So we can just save that a little bit for later because we will come back to that uh, very shortly. So now we've got our buggy looking thing. Um, it's looking quite good. Now we're going to add CDC for the wing. So that you can't see very well, um, but that is CDC in tan. Um, so you want to find four um, pieces that are about the same length and you want to line up the tips so it all sort of sits like looks nice on the fly basically. And so we're going to make our wing slightly longer than the hook length 
we're gonna tie that in. If you're having issues with your thread jumping forward, then just give it a few counterclockwise spins and it will jump backwards to lock in the, the hair. Cool, that looks pretty good to me. Um, so now we can go through and trim off our, so you see close to the top. And this is pretty much it. Um, so you can fish it just like this, um, but I like to put in a little bit of an indicator as well just so I can see it. Um, so we're using orange post material. And just a tiny bit of that. Um, you don't need much at all, it's just to give it a bit of color so you can see um, what the go is with the fly in the water. So we're just gonna tie that in. <clears throat> Make sure it's on top. And then we trim off this. Cool, and that's it. So I'm just gonna do one little wrap behind the wing. Actually, we might do two just to kick it up that tiny bit more. Um, two, cool. And that that's it, you can tie it off straight like that and that's good and it will float and it will catch fish. I like to add a tiny bit more dubbing at the top um, just to sort of, uh, you know, just make it look a bit neater and give it a bit more bulk in the thorax. So we're just gonna add a tiny bit of dubbing on the top here. And I think that is enough. Now we can go through, do a couple half hitches um, you can either you can even super glue this as well, um, or use head cement. It's your call. I just do three three half hitches, and that fishes quite well because these once you catch fish on these fish uh, on these flies a few times, um, then they stop being super buoyant, and you got to treat them pretty well with a desiccant. And there you have it. That's my version of the CDC Sedge um, with a bit of foam added in there. I um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did enjoy it, then please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out a lot and will encourage me to make more videos in the future. Stay tuned for more fishing videos coming real soon. We've got some cool ones in store for you.